What is going on, fellow talkers? Marcus D. Moore here. Back with the video, and um, well, we already, we all here. We go. I thought it's just as I thought. This is I thought we were getting somewhere. We were starting to, you know, clear things out. There, everything was starting to be out of control. I thought, you know, the hate was kind of starting to go away for this game, but no, we get hit. With some more, uh, uh, pretty much the title from it said the guy. This guy from it says like, "Yo, th this game gameplay looked bad. I'm not impressed by it. I'm not. I'm not buying it. I still think this game is trash." Listen, listen. Let me tell you something. We have a full year. You got plenty of time. Plenty of time. You got a whole year. Now I'm. I'm with you. I meet you halfway and say, during this whole year, this game still it may it may not be good. Yes, I'm hyped for this game, but then again, another side of me is saying like, yo, don't get your hopes up too high because it may not live up to our expectations. Which I, I hope I wanted to. I want this game to be amazing. I want this game to be great. Square Enix isn't a bad company either. Um. So that's another reason why I'm kind of confident with this. I want this game to be great. Uh, but you can't say anything until we get the full product. They just they, they just not this game, announced this game like a month ago. A month or two ago. During E3. We can't make full judgments. All we can do is wait. And just wait until we get some actual, I mean actual... High definition gameplay. You know, when we get closer to release date, that's when we could be like, that's when we can kind of give our true thoughts. That's when we, when we get close to next year, when we get close to the release date of this game, that's when we can probably give our our thoughts. Because the game goes to release, then we can probably be like, I don't know, man. Graphics don't look, gra graphics look kind of eh. Game looks up, look kind of eh. Gameplay still looks kind of repetitive. Eh, we can still say that. We can, then we can start talking about it. But as of right now, we can't say anything. I hate when people do that. I hate when people judge judge stuff so freaking early and then game the I'm not hating on this guy at all, but I hate when, I just don't like... It's just in general, I hate when people do that. I hate when people over a short period of time and when something just got enough. I can't stand... When people do that, it gets on my nerves, bro. On my nerves, birdie. So, I don't like it. I don't like that. So, I don't appreciate that. That's not, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I respect this guy's opinion. Either way, I respect anybody's opinion. I mean, I don't, that's not how, that's how I roll, you know what I'm saying? I don't I hate on nobody's opinion, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, can, I, have, I have the right to disagree. I have the power to disagree with what you have to say. I don't got to like it. But I could I can I could disagree with him. You know what I'm saying? I have the right to do that. I, but I can But I what I have to do is respect it. I gotta respect my own opinion. So that's, that's how the game works. You feel me? So you can try to reason with them, but you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I feel like we're still early stages of development, partner. And um, as we get close to the next year, I mean, as we get close to the release date of this game, then we could probably give a full judgment. Until then, you just gotta wait, big. We gotta wait, bruh. We gotta wait. So, let's get on with this video. Let's do this. How's it going, guys? Today I wanted to talk about the Marvel's Avengers gameplay that was actually leaked from the Comic Con 2019 that very, very recently is happening and currently happening. So there was a brand new footage taken. It's actually been an identical gameplay that they have showcased at the E3, yeah, but now they're showing it again that at they the Comic Con. Um, but this time around, from, from now. E3. Since the recording has been done on the an actual mobile phone, obviously it's not going to be very good quality. Number one thing as well I want to mention, I completely forgot. I cannot show you or share any footages from the gameplay. It is leaked and will most, like, most likely will be taken down. 
So, currently at this moment, you will need to locate it for yourself and try to locate it because I can't even uh, leave down links below in the description either. Now, since the uh, leak has already been uh, in fruition, it's been happening, we got a chance of seeing a, a lot more clear and a lot more better quality Thor gameplay and Iron Man as well. A little bit of Hulk, but not much, so much actually, there was none of the Black Widow gameplay. Now, Thor is. It looks so much similar to a God of War gameplay style as well. It like does. it looks very brutal and heavy sort of attacks that he has. But, but also, that's, just kinda how, that's how Thor is though. That's kind of how that's Thor's fighting type. Is that Spartan that that Kratos type of fighting fighting weight? That's pretty much Kratos. That's, okay. that's Thor. You know they're from the. They're, I mean, I'm not saying they're from the same. They're like they're pretty much all similar. They're similar. They're from that same region, anyway. They're, they're from that same region to begin with, you know what I'm saying? So you can't really be surprised that their fighting style is the same. I mean, I get it. I dig it. You look in the movies, he fights just like Kratos. Not exactly like him, but he, he has that, that sporting rage. He has that intense fight, that, that, that intense rage in him. You know what I'm saying? That's how he fights, too. I'll take it. Extremely uninspiring, as well as fight? just that... When he ever does these attacks, it looks very flashy. It's also too damn cartoon cartoony. Now, I'm not talking about the realism in this game, obviously there isn't. Now, the real deal about this, about this, that it kills the any uh, interesting factors from this game, that it's just, there isn't much of the innovation, if that makes any sense. All the things that you would have seen in this gameplay, of this leaked gameplay, everything was done even better, though. So, here's the fault in this game already that it's been uh, coming in front and that everybody is concerned about. What is this game? A single player, multiplayer, um, you know, live service as a gameplay. What the fuck is it? And obviously, we already have a couple of those answers. Not up to the degree or style that everybody really wants it to be. Now, I wanted to mention that this is going to be life as a service game. I'm fucking fortunately. And I really don't like that aspect of this game, of this game at all. Now, since after watching the gameplay for myself properly with the, with the much better uh, camera that was in the showcase of the gameplay, I'm not... This this looks awful. It looks really bad. It looks very unpolished as fuck as well. No, now, I can definitely tell you this much. Oh it does gosh, not look like about. a sort of Marvel Avengers game that anybody would really want. Now, some people might like this. Maybe some not so much. Personally, for me, this is not a type of game for me, especially. Now, since when as well, uh, Thor as himself, he basically, you know, you can wield his hammer, you can fly as all that good stuff, you know, you can use your own hands and uh, be brutal as, <laughs> as ever before, as of course, but like, you know, you are Thor. So basically, you throw the hammer, you can uh, call, recall it back as well. And uh, seemingly, uh, there were, as it seems like there were no loading screens, thankfully, or black bars or anything like that. They were into fruition, we go into the perspective of Iron Man. We get to see an opportunity as well, how he flies, does not look too, uh, no, no it doesn't. It looks a lot more dimmed down compared to the anthem, it really does. It does not look like, it's just, okay. This is extremely, extremely, extremely scripted and linear sort of the gameplay you can expect. Do not take this as some, oh my god, there's a variety of way of taking down or dealing any of those enemies. This game sort of looks like more of a 30 to 40 bucks aspect of the gameplay that, uh, that we got the, and a chance to see. Now, god damn it, I have to mention this. I know some idiots out there will be saying like, wait, you're going to be making your own initial thoughts and saying that there was even better, no public gameplay reveal, but you're initially making your, um, you know, review or less, you know, you're putting in your opinion from a leak, you know, as an example. I'm that just talking about phone. what I saw. You I'm can't. not saying this is going to be a completely garbage game. What I'm saying is that this game does not look good. It looks it does not look inspiring. It simply looks like it's out there just for the fuck of it, you know, because this is just a name or a title, so people will buy it anyway, regardless. Oh, yes, I want to mention. So we got the uh, abilities to see as well how Iron Man and Thor is well wielding. Basically, if Thor, as I noticed, might be getting more buffed up with the lightning attacks and stuff. Our man using his laser blaster from his chest. Now he's making all the, you know, very powerful attacks. Some sort of. Don't. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Don't Avengers not kill? I'm pretty sure they don't kill, right? That's kind of weird because he just pretty much literally annihilated a couple of people. 
literally with the uh, with the chest on the <coughs> beam, whatever it's called. But anyway, so uh, obviously when when looking through the gameplay, and uh, oh, actually no, I was wrong. It seems like there might be some kind of a cut of the black screen. It's not a black screen. They kind of showed it in white screen instead. Basically, we're going to a different perspective as we are seeing. Uh, Black Widow and Hulk himself, basically, well, Bruce, uh, more or less, and that uh, he's about to jump off the uh, plane, and you know, we're uh, well, I didn't this see is this there part of the at the E3 as well. It's an so identical gameplay, like I said, already. Oh, really. we the, uh, so we got an opportunity to see how Hulk yes, I, does I these sort of league, combats, right? He becomes I'm, Hulk, he takes a couple of these fellas. And uh, he just pretty much started bashing them and mashing them. Obviously, they're all dead. No way, no fucking way they're alive after that. Hulk, we're talking about. Come on. <laughs> but anyway, it oh, does not Hulk look is, like any that's good of a sort of game is, that you would, everybody would be expecting up to the tier of Spider-Man. No, 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 no. This is not in close to it. I don't actually know how we will be able to expect this to be something like a love of a service game as well, so far that we have seen anyway. Like, is there NPCs that will be have to uh, fight off or something? It doesn't seem like so, perhaps, because like I can see that the Avengers have been dem deemed down compared to the overpowered abilities as such. Like basically the way you are pretty much using your water guns, so to say, on the enemies. It doesn't feel very impactful. You're just bashing and smashing. Doesn't There is no necessity of the sort of like, like you know Dark Souls or God of War, right? You had to be very conc uh, concisive and very precisive. Yeah. For example, when the enemy hits you, then obviously you lose a bit of your health. He keeps on hitting you. You need to be, you know, dodging and evading from the attacks. Now, even though God of War, Kratos, he's like a god, and he still had to make sure that he did not get too hit often, if that makes sense. But yes, but in here, it's more of a smash and, you know, just run through enemies, keep smashing the button that say you're down or you're we down don't, with the, uh, uh, the, oh, the place. Come on, bro, we don't now, some know people that. Might to say, like, Spider-Man was no different. No, you're completely wrong. Spider-Man is quite damn difficult if you play on the most hardest difficulty, but still there is a question. Why do you... Thing. So wait, come on. I don't know. So you're saying, it's not, so you're saying Marvel's Avengers is not going to have a difficulty or something? Bro, bro, bro you, you, you do know. 90% of the people who play this game by I when all right you do know 90 90 90% of the time people probably when people are showing us gameplay from like conventions stuff like E3 and Comic Con they're probably playing on the easiest difficulty now they're playing on the easiest difficulty but but we, we, it ain't gonna be the, we're most likely we're probably gonna play on the hardest or one of the hardest difficulties in the game because we wanna challenge ourselves. It ain't gonna be that easy. And besides, they're enemies. They're enemies. They're weak. These guys. These guys in the game, they're just weaklings compared to these unhuman. They're humans going up up against aliens, my boy. You got Thor, Hulk, Iron Man. Uh, Black Widow, who's a martial artist, who's, you got, uh, uh, who else? Cat. They're freaking, I'm uh, not human. They're not human. These are human beings, so of course. They're going to move right through them. And most likely they're going to put a difficulty on to challenge us. Like, come on, man. Be fair here. This does not look very good at all. It looks awful. So basically the gameplay we've gotten to see was extremely scripted and uh, basically there was no varieties of ways that you could have actually made of differences and such. Basically it's a game that will be worth up to, uh, I don't know, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks maximum I would even say. This is not a full price game so far that I have seen. Well obviously well, they will be including the online component of the co-op play anyway and since then, then we will be able to as well uh, play with together with other people and of course against the NPCs, presumably. Still, uh, this does not look like a game that I personally would enjoy. Uh, maybe I should say, like, wait and see sort of aspect and see how it will all perform <laughs> and how this will all turn out to be. At the end of the day, we are still very far away from the initial launch from this game, May 2020. Well, thankfully, there's still plenty of time till then. Yeah, but as time, a core man. element of what it tries to be, it's all there. It's there. It's not going to change much. All that's going to be improved upon is such as the uh, frames per second uh, and the pop, of course, and some other tidbits of uh, stuff as well. But the core elements, right, the foundation is there. It's done. It's not going to be changed at all. And this is what you will be expecting. This is not going to be up to the tier of Spider-Man PlayStation 4. 
don't expect it to be. So you don't be too, too disappointed you know, when the game does launch. I guarantee that much. I will be saying exact identical things. Maybe rephrase myself as well and see if I was wrong or right as closer we get to the launch of this game and see how reviews will be picking up on it and saying if it's good or if it's bad or was it disappointing or was it even a phenomenal success and obviously we shall see if I was right or wrong so far I think I'm right but Bro, this is still right. is my yeah, opinion I'm thinking about it when I saw from the gameplay boy. from the leaked gameplay mind you all not that many right. people would get an opportunity so everybody will be extremely biased to this game because Avengers mm. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, that's. I think. I think I'm done for today. Quite disappointed uh, about the gameplay, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys all later. And uh, yeah, as always, have a good one. That's not how this story ends. Hey man, I respect your opinion. You a homie. You cool. But I disagree. I disagree, man. I feel like. When we get close to release date, I will I'll come back. I'll come back to your video. I'll come back to this channel. I will come back to your channel. When we get close to release date, we'll talk. That's what I'm saying. We'll talk. That's when. That's when we can truly talk about this game. When we get close to release date, that's when we can all talk. That's when we can all type. That's when we can all start talking about which is bad, what's not bad. What, is this game good? Is this game bad or no? That's when we get into it. As of right now, as of right now, we can't say anything because we don't know what we don't know what to expect. You know, all we got is that one trailer and some crappy. Actually, it was pretty good quality. So okay, some good quality stuff. Let's wait. That's all I can say, man. Anyway, guys, but Marcus Geek One. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Stay, stay, stay fresh, and, uh, yeah. Bye, Z. All right, guys.